Do you use Zoom, whether it's for a recording or a virtual event, and you've found in your recording after the fact, when you've done an interview with you and another person, that the speaker view can't really decide who to spotlight or the speaker view can't really decide who to focus on and maybe it's messed up your recording. I did get this as a question on one of my videos from a uh, user here on YouTube and I wanted to make sure to answer it because the challenge for this person, and let me read their question, it was, the problem is I do interviews in Zoom with one person besides me. What happens lately is the video is constantly clicking back to me while the speaker is talking. It hasn't happened through 16 interviews, but in the last one, it really destroyed my recording constantly going back to me when I only want it on the speaker. What is happening here? Is it a setting on my mic? Trying to figure it out, but the spotlighting won't work because only myself and the guest I'm interviewing are part of the interview. So this is a really unique challenge that I'm gonna give my solution for if I was this user. Before we jump into it, I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer. I'm based out of Seattle, Washington. I make weekly videos just like this, all with my event production, event planning tips, a little bit of Zoom, a little bit of everything. If you like what you're hearing, please consider liking, subscribing, turning on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I also am a co-host of the Better Events Podcast, which is a podcast dedicated to creating, hosting, and attending better events. So it's more free content about, about event planning, about event production, we release new episodes every single Wednesday. All right, so again, this is a user's question about how to conduct an interview in Zoom and make sure the recording captures what they wanna capture and doesn't annoyingly bounce back and forth between the two. Well, the one solution would be to spotlight is what you would probably think. But as the user pointed out in the question earlier on, you need at least three people in your meeting to spotlight. So one solution for this user would be to have their phone in there as well or a second device if they have a tablet so that they hit that three person threshold and then they could spotlight. So they could spotlight themselves, replace spotlight with the person they're interviewing, have both of them up there and just kind of control where the speaker view goes. Now, if that's not an option, I am gonna recommend that you utilize the mute feature in Zoom specifically to control the mute feature for you. First, let me show you what's happening to this user and why it is happening. Cause often I find if you understand the why, it's easier to figure out how to solve that problem. So let's take a look at a sample recording I made. This was me using my phone and my desktop to be in the same Zoom meeting, just to show a little bit of that confusion that happens where Zoom will kind of bounce back and forth, especially if you're making background noise. Before I share it, I do want to uh, caveat, I did record this to the cloud, and so it was just capturing the active speaker view. Hello, there you go, Logan Clements here. Logan Clements, I'm so excited to be here. I'm and now it's back to me, I'm Logan. I am very happy to be here. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My name's Logan, test, test, test. I'm in speaker view. So you're gonna see me because I have started making noise. I'm muted, unmuted. And if we both unmute, you will notice that Zoom doesn't, can't figure out which one of us is speaking. It thinks it's me, but maybe it's me talking. Maybe I'm the one who's now the speaker. And so I'm gonna get taken over with the speaker view. All right, so what you saw there was Zoom didn't really know who to go to. It's especially hard because I had both devices in the same room, so you could hear my voice carrying over from my microphone into my phone, from my phone into my computer. And so it got a little confusing there for Zoom because it can't figure out who's speaking. This will happen too if you are maybe the person doing the interview and you hit your mic or you cough a little bit or you move around a little bit and Zoom will think, oh, you're speaking. So it will shift the speaker view to you. So the best way to solve this is to use the mute feature. And I do this in my podcast interviews when I use StreamYard or any other platform. I will often just mute myself just to be safe because then it knows if I'm muted, Zoom should not be hopping over to me. This is a directive you can also give to your speakers if you wanna make sure that they're not accidentally you know, shown when you're speaking, but make sure that then they mute when you're speaking. It's not as convenient if you're having a conversational interview, but I found if you can just get really close and what I do is I'll just use my mouse and I'll have it right on that mute button and it's hovering right over it. Some other people use shortcuts. Zoom does let you set up like you can use your space bar if you want to hit your space bar to unmute and then again to mute. It's just helpful to kind of have that so you can guide the speaker view and make sure that it captures whoever you actually want to be speaking and doesn't accidentally jump back and show your face because I promise you time and time again, I've seen this happen at my events in Zoom. And the main solution is honestly just to hit that mute button. Hopefully that answers your question and any other questions you have, uh, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. I love helping people solve their Zoom 
problems as well as their event production problems. So feel free to leave a comment. And that brings me to the end of my video. I'm Logan Clements, freelance event producer. And this has been another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to event planning and running your own business. I'll see you again next week. Bye.